Okay, so we are solving exponential equations today. And so let's just walk through the steps here. So we've got a little equation, 5 times 3 to the x equals 40. They ask for an exact solution. I'm also going to show approximations, which is pretty easy to do. So we key, we want to isolate the exponential. So we want to get this guy all by itself. So of course we would just divide 5 over. So 3 to the x equals 8. And maybe if you're solving some when you first start, they're already isolated, so you don't have to worry about that step. But otherwise, get the exponential by itself. So somehow we want to isolate that x. Well, you do that using logarithms. And so the inverse of exponentials are logs. I'm going to show a, a general strategy here how you could do it with any calculator. If you have calculators that do bases, like base 3, you could do that. I'll show both. So let's do the log of both sides. And you and again, it's not like 8 times the log or log times, it's the log of both sides. Now what that allows us to do is bring our variable out front, that exponent. So we now have x times log of 3 equals log of 8. And I could have done natural log. You could do any log here. Now how would I get x by itself? Well, log of 3 is just a number. So now I would divide it by both sides. So x equals the log of 8 over the log of 3, which would be the log base 3 of 8. If you just used our change of base formula from previous lesson going backwards, okay, or let me just show you an alternate way to do that. So if we go to the same place, 3 to the x equals Ah, 3 to the x equals 8, sorry. Well, what if I just did log base 3 of both sides? So log base 3 of 3 to the x equals log base 3 of 8. And again, however you want to do it, you could still bring that down. So x, well, what's the log base 3 of 3? So 3 to the what equals 3? Well, it's just 1. So log base 3 of 3 is 1. So equals log base 3 of 8, hey, it'd be a, a shortcut, okay, if you feel comfortable doing that. Now this problem asks for exact solutions, so I would go ahead and leave my answer like this, log base 3 of 8, that is the exact answer. It's kind of like saying the square root of 2, though. Um, sometimes, a lot of times, we're actually going to approximate answers, so if that's the case, I would go ahead and put it in my calculator, and you could do it either way. Again, that's why I like to show it this way, because anybody with this log button on their calculator could put this. Uh, and again, on this, you could do log base 3 of 8 directly, but I'll just type this in. So log 8 divided by log 3, and we get 1.89. Again, you could do, if you've got the buttons, you could do log base 3 of 8 directly, and notice you'll get the exact same answer. So depending on how many decimals they ask me to round it, um, you could round this one again, but this one did ask for exact. I'm just showing if we needed to approximate it. Okay, so isolate the exponential, apply log to both sides, get that variable by itself. That's how you solve exponential equations.